Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on 4.3. Now this is a beta jailbreak, and it is tethered, so I'm just letting you guys know that right up front. And once the untethered jailbreak is out, there will be an annotation on the screen right here, so you do not have to waste your time actually watching this video and only getting a tethered jailbreak. So again, if you guys see an annotation up, that means there is an untethered jailbreak, and you can go ahead and and watch that now. Also, I just wanted to say what devices this works for. So this does work for the iPhone 3GS new and old boot ROM. However, the old boot ROM isn't tethered, which is a good thing, which means you do not have to plug it into your computer and run iBooty to boot it up every time you want to turn it off. Now that isn't the case for the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM. You're going to have to run iBooty every single time you turn it off and rerun it. It also works for the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, as well well as the first generation iPad. And sorry, it does not work for the iPad 2 yet. As of now, there is no jailbreak for the iPad 2. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to follow the link that's down below in the more info to get the download links and also all of the written instructions. What you're going to have to download is the latest version of iTunes and you will also have to download this version of Snowbreeze and you will need to download your firmware. To download your firmware you just select which one you want and you hit download. And then once you have the Snowbreeze zip file downloaded, all you're going to do is open it up and just drag it to the desktop. If you are on Windows and you don't have something to unzip it with, just download WinRAR. And again, you can download it once you follow the link that is down below in the more info. And once you have Snowbreeze on your desktop, if you are on uh, either Windows 7 or Windows Vista, what you can do is right click and then go to Properties. And then inside of properties, go to compatibility and go run this program in compatibility mode 4. And then select Windows XP Service Pack 2 and select run this program as an administrator. Then hit apply and OK. Once you've done that, you can open up Snowbreeze. And when you get this prompt here, just click yes. And then you're going to hit OK, and you're going to hit Close Credits. And then from here, just hit the Next arrow. And then when it says, are you uh, seriously sure you want to do this, select Yes. And then you can browse for the firmware that you downloaded. And just make sure you can find it. Mine's on my desktop, and it is right there. So what I can do is I can go ahead and hit OK on that firmware. And as you can see, it does say it is 4.3. So I can hit open and now it is identifying the IPSW. Now it has detected that my device is an iPhone 4 and it has verified the IPSW and I can go ahead and hit next. And then what you're going to do is hit expert mode. And then from here, you can customize some settings. You can have hacktivation enabled on your phone, which just means that it activates it. So if you aren't on an official carrier, then it can activate it with iTunes. But because I am on an official carrier, I do not have to have this checked. And you can also have install SSH checked if you want, which I'm going to have that checked as well. So you can hit next from here. And then basically this is just the area where you can have custom apps. So you can browse for custom dev files here. You can actually download them from different sources here. And you can also add sources on this tab right here. And then from there you can go ahead and build your IPSW and hit next. And if you want, you can hit play Pac-Man. And Pac-Man has never worked for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit return to spinner because it just doesn't work. So what you're going to do now is you're just going to wait for it to finish the process of building your custom IPSW. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this part out, and I will be back when it has finished. All right, so once it's done, you will get this done screen, and you will get these two files right here. One is your Snowbreeze uh, customized IPSW, and the other one is iBooty, which you will need to actually boot into your jailbreak, because again, this is a tethered jailbreak, and it is only in the beta stage stages. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what you do from here. So once you have finished building it and you have those files on your desktop, simply hit OK. And now what you're going to do is you're going to follow the instructions that it provides on the screen. So make sure that your device is first of all plugged in like mine is right here. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to power it off. So just hold down the power button and slide to power off. 
And once you have done that, you can go ahead and hit start and then simply follow exactly what it says. It's saying hold down the home and the power button for a total of 10 seconds. So that's what we're doing right now. We're holding them down and once you're at 10 seconds, release the power button and continue holding the home button for an additional 30 seconds and continue holding it. Even though you have this iReb screen, you're gonna to want to continue holding the home button. And once you get this message, you are good to go. Basically, it just says that you have entered a pwned DFU state, and we did that with the help of the iReb that is now built into this version of Snowbreeze. So now what it's saying is you can go ahead and hit OK, and also it's saying if you get a 2003 error in iTunes after extracting, just unplug and replug your device and try it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up iTunes again, and please keep in mind that you do have to be on the latest version of iTunes in order to do this. Now, iTunes is actually saying that I have a device in recovery mode and it's detecting that I have to restore it. So we're going to hit OK to that and then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the shift key and press restore. So just be sure you hold down the shift key and again press restore. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this Snowbreeze firmware right here and I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit to show you guys that this is the custom firmware that we did create. So I'm going to hit open and then I'm going to hit restore once I get this message saying that iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4.3 and will verify the restore with Apple. So just hit restore to that and then from there it will just start the process of restoring to 4.3. And also I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of questions of people asking if this does get rid of all of your data. Of course this does. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back up your iDevice before you do this. So it just did go past the white screen on my iPhone and now I have the Snowbreeze logo and a bar right down here. So everything is fine right now and it is preparing the iPhone software for restore. And now on my computer it says it is verifying the iPhone software and on my iPhone here it is about 75% of the way done. So I will be back once it has made some more progress. Alright, so now it's saying that my iPhone has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting. Alright, so once it has finished and once it has booted up here, you will notice that you have Cydia right here, but watch what happens when I try and run it. It just quits out of it like that and it doesn't do anything. So in order to fix this, you are going to have to reboot it in the tethered state. And in order to do that, you're going to have to use the iBooty folder that uh, Snowbreeze created for you when you were making the custom firmware. So so simply open up the folder and what you're going to do is you're just going to run the program called iBooty and then just wait for this message to go away right here. And then be sure to select your device from the drop down menu and I'm selecting the iPhone 4 and then from here all you have to do is hit start on iBooty. And now we are getting ready to set it into DFU mode. What we're going to do to do this is hold down the home and power button for a total of 10 seconds and once you have done that and once that is up what you're going to do is release the power button and continue holding the home button which is exactly what we did before inside of Snowbreeze when it was doing iReb and when we restored it is exactly the same. Now I'm getting progress on iBooty and it is starting to boot up my iPhone and now that it has finished what you're going to do is you're just going to wait for it to boot back up. Alright, so here is my iPhone and it is back up. I'm just going to slide to unlock and now I'm going to go over to Cydia and show you guys that Cydia does in fact work. Now this means it is working because it is initializing the file systems and this is just what Cydia normally does. So it does indeed work and once it's finished with this it'll exit and I will show you guys that I am on iOS 4.3. Alright, so now that it's done, I went into settings general about, and as you can see right there, it says I am on 4.3 for the version, so you do know that I am on iOS 4.3, and now that Cydia has finished that, I'm just going to show you guys that it does work, so here we go, we are loading in Cydia, and it does work 100%, so I hope you guys like this video, and again, remember this is a tethered jailbreak, so every time you want to turn on off your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad and turn it back on, you're going to have
have to rerun iBooty and just keep in mind that this is a beta jailbreak and they just rushed it and it isn't what is going to happen in the end. Basically, there will be an untethered jailbreak sooner or later. So I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to rate it up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and also hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.